public transportation is necessary for people to travel to and from work and to help the local economy stay strong. However, because it puts people together in enclosed tight spaces, it creates special challenges in preventing the spread of coronavirus. Limit using public transportation as much as possible, especially if you have health conditions that put you at greater risk for contracting coronavirus. No matter what type of public or shared transportation you use, it is most important that you get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as the vaccine is available to you. In addition, there are three things you can do right now to help slow the spread of coronavirus in your community. 1. Properly wear a clean, snugly fitting face mask when outside your home. 2. Wash or sanitize your hands frequently. 3. Practice physical distancing outside your home by at least 2 meters, just over 2 arms lengths, or the distance recommended by your local authorities at all times. Remember, before entering and after exiting any public vehicle, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer with 60 to 70 percent alcohol. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Avoid contact with door frames and handles when possible. Also avoid touching windows and other vehicle parts. Whenever in public or around people not in your household, always wear a clean mask that covers your mouth and nose snugly to protect yourself from others' germs and to reduce coronavirus germs from being released into the air. Bring extra mask in a sealable bag. If your mask gets wet or dirty, Put on a clean mask and put the wet or dirty mask in a separate bag until you can wash it. Consider traveling during non-peak hours to avoid crowds. Do not huddle in a group while waiting for your ride. Avoid crowded places and indoor waiting areas, even if the weather is bad. If your bus has two doors, enter through the front doors and exit through the rear. Avoid buses and trains that are crowded. Follow physical distancing instructions or physical guidelines offered by transit authorities indicating where to sit for proper distancing. Skip at least a row of seats between yourself and other passengers if you can. If ride sharing, avoid riding with passengers from multiple households and unmasked drivers or passengers. Do not use public transportation when seeking medical care for coronavirus symptoms or feeling sick at all. You could make others sick. Stay home. Instead, conduct your appointment by video meeting or phone. If a video meeting or phone call with medical personnel is not possible, contact the COVID-19 hotline to be taken to the doctor or hospital by special government-sponsored transportation service when available. Improve airflow by asking the driver to open windows on any public vehicle. Do not accept water bottles and avoid touching public magazines or other goods offered. Do not eat or drink during your time on a public vehicle. After completing your trip, keep your mask on in public and wash your hands or use a hand sanitizer containing 60 to 70 percent alcohol. Maintain two meters distance, or the distance recommended by local authorities, from other people walking on the sidewalk. Following these guidelines, along with getting vaccinated against the coronavirus as soon as the vaccine is available to you, will help you to stay well and allow public transportation to operate safely, ensuring you maintain regular income and your local economy stays strong. 